Hi Academy, welcome to the Academy Answers Podcast where we discuss the topics on personal development, success, happiness, full potential, the questions we get from our blog, the work we do in the personal development space, believing that we all have potential and it was with that potential that we create something that serve the world and serve us and ultimately bring us to happiness and bring us to fulfillment and to live the best life and to be the best we can be, knowing that potential is unlimited in all human beings. Most of us just never stop to figure out what our true potential is, what our strengths are, and we get dragged into someone else's strength and then we are used as a tool to fulfill the potential that others have. And we drown out our own achievement and stifle our own soul pursuing something that really and truly does not fulfill us. And we get we settle into a mode of survival uh, merely existing and as human beings we are not meant to survive we are meant to thrive we are not um, separated and uh, um, distinguished and put um, in categories of who can and who can't we all get the same stuff and think talking about getting the same stuff we're doing the series on 20 for 2020 we exploring 20 principles that are fundamental for us to keep the emotion of the euphoria of the new year that we decided upon that we plan to start stuff on that we decided that we would do and to rock it all the way through the process doing it even when that feeling has passed i heard a definition of commitment that says that commitment is doing what you say you would do long after the feeling and the mood you were in has passed that when you said you were going to do it in the first place so today is wednesday january 15th and this episode is episode 7 in the series we're going all the way to 20 and then we get back to our regular thing of answering the questions that we get at scale and that's what this podcast is about so for the next three um episodes going to episode 10 i'm gonna go a bit ranting with you Uh, i'm gonna go on rants I'm, i'm gonna be a little bit tough but um look I'm not, my duty is not to tell you what you would like to hear or to always sugarcoat it for you. My duty is to tell you what you need to hear. Not not to tell you what you always would want to hear, but I'm, I'm going to tell you what is good for you and what you should hear. And um, all the things I'm discussing so far, all the topics that I've touched on so far, episode one and even in the podcast uh, you know, as a whole, in its entirety, all the things that I discuss, all the things that I talk about, understand that it's all about action. That's the only purpose of education. The only purpose of education is action. That's why I have so much problem with the school system because there's a bunch of information that we give kids that, you know, doesn't have an action ending, for want of a better term. Like, they can't do anything with it. You know, like what's the average rainfall in, in, in the Amazon region? Um, how how cool does the Antarctica get in, in, in December? And, you know, all this fluff stuff stuff that the, you teach your kids in two minutes in school and they never have to encounter it a day ever in their lives and we don't teach them how to care for each other how to care for themselves how to talk to people how to handle tough situations and the real life skills that they really need to take action on and to become better citizens and better people of the world we don't teach them so what i'm talking about and what i teach is actionable stuff so education whatever i educate whatever topic i teach and whatever you are learning whatever i discuss and talk about the ultimate goal is to act to do something about it is um it's not um it's it's not enough to just nod your head in agreement when someone um uh bring information or, or give you a bit of wisdom you you have a duty to act upon it in accordance with what you know you say you know you say amen you say that's right you say word you say good you say that's what people need to do but you don't do it so and that is crazy so all i'm talking about is geared towards you taking action doing something 
and doing it in a disciplined and intelligent way. And this morning now, I want to tell you that there is something that gets us. There is something that always hang over our heads. And it is that we don't understand the concept of T-I-M-E. Time. We don't understand time. We always think we have more time. We always think there is enough time. And we always think there is another time. I'm here to tell you that whatever you have to do, whatever time slot that you think you can do it in, whatever, how much of a time you think you have to get through and work on your biggest goals, it's usually twice or three times or even five times that. You need a lot of time. And in that regard, you don't have enough time. So right now, as, you, as you're listening to me today, you are running out of time. And you are pressed for time. It is urgent. Your life, your goals, the things that you have to do, the things you need to get started on is extremely urgent. So even when, that's why I talk so much about acting and testing and getting started. Because even when you have conceptualized and you have blocked a certain um, um, time slot and you, you have identified time in which you are going to do something. It's either something will come up and suck a good chunk of that time or in that time when you're doing it, you will be disturbed or the thing that you plan to do will take longer than you expect. I remember once as I was writing this piece and I said, okay, this is important for me to get done. I'm going to wake up at 3 a.m. Usually I'm up between 3.30, 3 a.m. and 4.35. Like that, in that slot, I'll wake up. So at, I, I, if, I, if I'm sleeping at 6 or 7, it's because I've either stayed out late that night, which is rare, or I have gotten up, done some work, and went back to bed. Because sometimes what I usually do, I usually um, wake up at 3, wake up at 2, when I don't have a heavy day ahead of me, and I get a bunch of stuff done. You know, that there's a saying that says, get m more things done by 6 a.m. That, than most people get done by 6 p.m. So I usually get a bunch of my work done in that cluster a clump of time between three and five and then sometimes what i realize is that if i go to six and go to seven and continue through my day at about midday to two o'clock i get a, a bit of fatigue and i need to take the edge off you know so I, I feel a bit tired so what i do that works for me you can try it i wake up i do some work and then I get back into bed like 5.30 or 5 o'clock, get half an hour to 45 minutes nap, and I'm super pumped and, and, and energized. And during the day, I don't get that feeling of fatigue at all. Of course, I take a, 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 a supplement, a multivitamin, a, um, um, all natural supplement. It works like a charm. I don't remember what the name is. You can message me if you want to know the name, but it's really good. I got it from this health food store. So I got up, decided I was going to do this thing 3 a.m. in the morning. First thing, I turned on the computer, it was moving like a snail. Out of nowhere, the thing is moving like a snail. Then I'm there figuring it out. Then some of the information that I needed was on my phone. Cannot find my phone. Half an hour searching for my phone. Half an hour fiddling with the computer. Um, then by the time, that, that's an hour. By the hour pass, then my son got up. And then I have to take care of him and ease him back into bed and that took me another hour to do that now i'm at 5 a.m in the morning and i haven't started anything yet why because i got up at three and i thought i had a lot of time and that repeats itself through many areas of your life thinking you have the time when you don't your ability to get a lot of stuff done will firstly determine the results you are able to produce. That's one. 
And the second thing, your ability to get this thing done, to get the result you want, will be dependent on how well you can manage and utilize your time. Or in other words, manage yourself. Because we always talk about time management, but it's really a theory because you cannot manage time. Why? How can you manage something that never changes? Time never changes. 24 come up on the clock, 24 goes out. Same time, same thing happens in terms of the time, the movement and the seconds and the minutes. All that is constant. All of that is constant. What is different is you. What do you do? So you manage yourself. So it's really personal management. How do you manage stuff? How do you compress the time that you have so you can get maximum stuff done? So what are you doing with your driving time? What are you doing with the time you sit on a train? What are you doing with the times when you sit in the bus? What are you doing with the time when you are, are you when you are sit, sitting waiting on an appointment in a in a doctor's office? What are you doing? Is, is that the time you're using to read, or are you playing around, um, watching the TV, um, watching funny videos, texting friends, and then when you go home now you're trying to block the hour to read. Something disrupts you. You don't get to read, so the reading is pushed away, and time is passing. And these years come in and go out so quickly time life is short and life is fast somebody should have told us that when you look at the tombstone the dash between birth and death that you see how short that dash is that's almost actually life that's how short life is that dash between born x and um, passed away x that little short short dash you see there that's what life is you have to know how to milk and squeeze everything from that if you're sitting around if you are disregarding time if you have no concept of time you will have a really really big problem getting to any level of success or getting things done because these years are going to pass you like you like you would believe it before you know it you will be way up in your 50s 60s 70s and 80s and you would have got nothing to show for for it understand that as time passes energy diminishes as time passes energy tolerance and all that stuff diminishes as you get into the years when you need more security when you have a family look i'm raising I'm, i have a young family i'm married for, i've been married for five years now my 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 son is four years old that's a young family there's so many moving parts there's school there is um 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 uh, errands to run there is all these things happening and i have to be building my businesses in the middle of all of this everything is happening if you figure it out before you get a family, if you have it good and running, that's the best way. If you have a family now, like most of my audience have, family, responsibilities, debt, job, um, things they have to take care of, a long list of to do every week, every day. You have to be really ninja. You have to be really committed to not settle. Because you know why? And we'll discuss this deeper in the next podcast. You have a little cushy seat that you get to sit in if things don't work right or you get to revert from things because that is there. And that little cushy seat is your paycheck. Your paycheck is one of the most dangerous things for your success. It's, it's a two-way sword. It's like money because it is money. So it is very good because that's what you're going to use to leverage your life and it's very bad because that's why people settle so people sell out their dreams people back up on their goals because they have a paycheck to pay the bills and to look good and put it on a credit card and get the status and push through and figure out the credit card and put it on the credit card again and get the status and that is killing a lot of people but i'm saying to you that the time you have is limited you don't have time I know you're looking at January 1st, January 15th, February, March, first quarter, and you're doing all these time fiddles and, 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 and rationalizing it in your head. But understand that the week 
when you plan to put in the work to be to get prepared will be the week when you get sick when somebody gets sick when something crazy happen all these things are going to come at you and you will realize that time is fleeting you cannot keep a track of it so what do you do when you realize that time is of the essence and think you need more time and there is not enough time and it's urgent and time is moving so quickly the first thing to do is to separate the important from the urgent you have to first separate the important from the urgent because if you allow something to become both important and urgent then you're in a bind you're in a stupor you're in a real crisis that's what crisis is when something that is important becomes also urgent your to-do list so it is urgent that you go and get toilet paper it's urgent that you eat it is urgent that you um uh go pick up the child from school it is important that you read it's important that you upgrade your skill. It is important that you manage your money well. It is important that you chase your goals and achieve the things that you set out to achieve. It's not urgent yet. You're good. When you eat poorly, it's important that you exercise. When you eat poorly and don't exercise and you get that diagnostic from the doctor that you have some lifestyle disease, hypertension, um, diabetes, then it becomes urgent and important that you eat well. When you lose your job, it wasn't urgent that you build your business, it was important, but when you lose your job, now it becomes urgent and important that you have a way to earn an income. So the important things you have to have them also in the urgent category. But you know that you could get away with not doing it today, next week, week after next, next month. But when it catches up on you, there's no way to flip the switch and get it right. That's the first thing you have to do. To separate the urgent from the important and have a way to put the important in the urgent category. So the errands and all these things you have to do you have a life you must pick up the kid from school you must um go to the grocery store you must pay your bills all those things are, are i understand i get it but you have to know how to do those how to automate those how to find a better way to do those how to use your evening that you're going to drive two hours sometimes spend twenty dollars and get the kid home whatever way you do or, or however you work that so you can block the time to do the important stuff because trust me urgent become really nasty if the important become urgent and you can't do any of them so if it's important that you have an income and you lose your income it's become urgent and the urgent thing of paying the bill um, buying the toilet paper and all those things cannot be done then you realize how the important can come together with the urgent the regular urgent stuff and, and, and just blow up your life so there are the things that are important now that you know it's important to exercise, important for your health, but it's not urgent. Like you're good, you're going along, you're, you're, you're moving, your body parts are working and you're good. If that important turned to urgent, like you can't walk, you can't talk, you're sick, you can't move, then it gets really bad. So you have to find a way to focus on the important things and put them on your schedule. I cannot stop talking about schedule. Because what gets scheduled gets done. That's how it works. You can't wing it and say, I'm going to do it soon. When I do this, then I do that. I was just asking a friend of mine, like, when are you going to do this um, YouTube stuff? She said, oh, yeah, well, as soon as I get this thing done. I'm like, okay, when is that? Um, sometime next week. I'm like, no, which day? She's like baffling. I'm like, okay, tell you what you do. When I see you next, you give me a date. Either you give me a date or you give me the first video. That's what I want from you. Tell me when or show me the video. That's, that's the only way. It's only when you execute that it matters. I don't care about your ideas and all the preparation stuff. Nothing matters until you do. The last thing I want to talk to you about is that is a, is a quote from a famous writer. I don't remember who it was. And she said that our problem 
as we, most of us are listening now and as where we are today. Our problem is not strength today, but the vital necessity for action to ensure our strength tomorrow. Our problem is not strength today. Our problem is the vital necessity for action so that we can ensure our strength tomorrow. She's saying, acting today, when you have strength, when you feel good, when you can hear me, when you can see me, when you can touch things, when you can do things, when you can exercise, when you can read, when you can work on the business, when you can do the practice, when you can um, um, manage the stuff, when you can really work, get in there and do it. The necessity to actually do it so that tomorrow when we can't do it, we'll have something running for us or when we have to take a break or something goes wrong and we have to restore, we can ha- we at least are at a point where we can jump back on. We're not starting from zero. We are probably two already and we just do two more and when we get started and get up to some form of um, recognition, if you understand what I mean. So acting today, doing something today, is what is important when we have strength when we can when we have the opportunity when we have this gift of life in our hands the vital necessity for action in those times that's what we're talking about so guys your time time is the thing that life is made up of the most important characteristic of time is that it it's continually dying as we speak i just i'm on this podcast for 21 minutes and 26 seconds none of that can come back you will never see this time ever again and you just chunk 21 minutes off your life if this 21 minutes is not helping you to improve the quality of your life down the road or now or tomorrow or at any point in time, you have wasted that. Whatever doesn't serve you, destroys you. You're either creating or you're degenerating. There's no middle ground. Stability died in the Cold War. You're either growing or you're dying. It's that simple. That's how life works. So, be a time ninja. That's the most important advice I can give you understand time and be a time ninja because it will go so fast it will disappear in front of your eyes and when you're out of time out of luck out of looks out of energy regrets will kill you the stresses of regrets will kill you you know they're they're talking to this doctor and i'll wrap this up for you right now and they're talking about why people what what are the, the the explanation for mental illnesses while there are certain activities that go on in the brain according to tests that cause certain brain cells and areas of the brain to deteriorate and people lose their cognitive abilities that's 50 percent of the people who go insane there's another 50 percent of people who goes insane that no one have an explanation for everything is perfect in the brain and they've lost it even though their brains are okay they've lost it it's gone it's done they 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 go totally senile so that's it protect your time like a ninja and i'll get a little bit tough on, on another rant tomorrow and for the next three two um episodes just to come at you in a way that you understand upfront on um um kind of polished unpolished of the things that you're gonna need to do like real talk me and you buddies friends chilling out having a couple of drinks saying it as it is holding nothing back I want to give you that. I want to talk to you because I respect you and I love you. And I want to let you know that I am not perfect, but I realize these things in life and I learned the hard way. I'm still learning. 
This morning I messed up. The, no, not this morning. The morning before this morning I messed up. My alarm was to go off at three. I had a crap load of stuff to do. My alarm went off at three. I turned around, go turn it off, straight back to bed. You know what happened? I lost three hours. Three hours of work that I was supposed to put in. You know when I'll get back those three hours? Never. I'm behind. So if you're behind, if you want to catch up, if you want to do this, become a time ninja. That's the first thing. Be generous with everything else and be very mean with your time. Don't give away your time. It's the most valuable thing you have. Have a good day, guys. Always a pleasure. Louis Motivator Car. Share this podcast. Subscribe if you're listening on YouTube. Let's keep running this mental and self-help um, powerful, motivational, inspirational stuff. And let's take it all the way to the top. See you on the beaches of the world. Thank you.